welcome to my first what I ate today video or what I eat in a day video seeing as this is a YouTube channel sharing my love of food I thought I'd make one of these and try it out I've seen lots of them myself I think they're quite fun I think they can provide some inspiration so here we go Today we're still in Stockholm and it's pretty dark outside, it's quite gloomy, but I'm hoping this will be okay anyway. Uh, at least we can have some cozy candles and making it a bit brighter and lighter. And I start my day with a cup of hot water or warm water with um, lemon juice and some apple cider vinegar. Um, I just like how it makes me feel. It's meant to make your um, body kind of alkaline in the morning if you drink this before you eat anything. Um, it gets your uh, metabolism going, at least it does for me. <laughs> and so yeah, that's what I like to do first before anything else. And um, yeah, let's move on with this what I ate in a day. I hope you like it. some breakfast so I'm really hungry <laughs> I'm sure Rob is too and um, what I like to do is porridge in the morning I often do this and uh, especially here in Sweden when it's cold I enjoy it so that's what I'm gonna do and it's really standard I just sort of take one part oats two parts liquid and I like to add some sort of milky um, addition. So here I have oat milk that we bought at the store that I take three parts water to one part milk. So it's really easy. I'm sure we've all made porridge before but I'm going to show you how I do it. And yesterday we had our porridge with pears on top, so we have some leftover cubes here and I thought I'd just put them into the actual porridge and then they cook and they become quite nice and give the porridge a bit of flavour. And we also had some um, uh, dried apricots that I thought I'd put in, in there as well as sort of natural sweetener. Um, I really like these apricots, they're really yummy. I need a knife! you in all my breakfast excitement and the first one is that I'll 
link to some of my porridge recipes in the description box below so you can try them for yourself and the other one is that we always take a b12 supplement being vegan you don't really get this in very large amounts from your food not large enough that they have you covered so you need to take a little pill if you're vegan and this one is quite strong so we take it maybe every other day later than planned and I am hungry again. I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna eat some of these little guys, some cashew nuts, and that's what I'm gonna do. So snack time, cashew nuts. I'm just back from meditation and it's about 7, 10 p.m. and I'm starving again. <laughs> this is more or less the story of my life. I'm like a baby, I need to eat every third hour. Um, so we're gonna have some leftover lentil soup now. And this is was just something we threw together from the stuff we had here in our Airbnb. So it's just red lentils with some um, cubed potato and cubed celeriac uh, with, that's cooked in vegetable stock and it also has some herbs and paprika. And together with this we're going to eat some seeded cracker bread that I made the other day uh, with some sunflower tomato bean spread that I also made. Um, that I'm recipe testing for you guys and Rob's gonna have this amazing looking sourdough that I can't have because it has mega tons of gluten in it <laughs> but it looks really delicious so we'll show you all of that in a minute but for now I'm heating up the soup
All right, so two things before I get to eating. One, we found some leftover salad from yesterday that I forgot about that we're gonna have now. It's like a pseudo, pseudo salad with cavolo nero, which is like a really dark kale, some capers, some olives, and a bit of dressing and also I'm gonna have some nettle tea. I saw a homeopath once who told me that um, I can get some iron from this little guy, this little potion. So I drink this sometimes now because I've had iron deficiency before, uh, even before I was vegan, so it has nothing to do with that. But if you are iron deficient, try some nettle tea or nettle powder, can help you. But now I'm really excited to eat, so let's get to the table. Yay, food! <laughs> Look what a spread we've made and it's all leftovers. It took 10 minutes, more or less. I'm very happy and pleased with this. And now I'm gonna dig in. And I think basically this is now the end of this what I ate in a day or what I ate today video. And as you could see, there was a bit of everything going on. Our lunch was very late, but um, it was a cool place. I'm glad we went there. Um, I really like the food at the raw place. So I'm gonna write a bit about that in a bit on the blog, but you'll have to wait for that. Um, I thought I'd um, put a link in the description box for one of my lentil soups that I put on the blog already in case you feel inclined to make some for yourself. And I'll also link the two um, cafes we went to to their websites in the description box in case you want to check them out if you're in Stockholm and uh, if you like this video please like it and maybe even subscribe to my channel I'd love it if you did and yeah let me know if you want more of this or more of something else I'm open to suggestions and I'm still very hungry so I'm gonna say goodbye and take care and see you next time Thank mm -hmm. you.